Wow. Go sit right back there. Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Oh, Freddy. He's happy. He's happy. He's happy. He's happy. Oh, hi, buddy. Hi. Uh, today's a little different video, a little laid back, chill style video. Look at this. Look, bud. What happened to your water, Frederick? Huh? What happened? Is it froze? Yeah. This is an issue. This is an issue. Yes, we use a pink water bucket. But like I was saying, today is a different but very, very special video. Because I have two things to share with y'all. One is a major surprise and the other one is an update on my mouth situation. A ton of you have been asking, Bobby, how'd your biopsy test results come back? Well, we got all the results back and I have a bunch to tell you guys. But we're going to wait for a little bit to do that. Because we have to go get some stuff done today. We're going to go sit the pigeon traps up on the buildings down in the city. A lot of you have been asking for those videos and I figured it'd be great today just to go set them, go bait them, and get them up there so we can start catching some more pigeons. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? <laughs> are you being a stinker today? <laughs> He's so goofy, man. You are goofy, Bubba. Oh, hi, my sweet boy. Come on, Fred. It's cold out there. Come on. It's super cold. I mean, it's below 20 degrees. <laughs> Wet hands from the dog bowl don't feel too great. Well, we're on the road here, and I'm almost thinking that the place that our traps are on, on top of the building that is, I think it might be closed down for the winter. It's a pool place, and most pool places close December through probably, I don't know, February, who knows. So hopefully we can get on the building today, but, big butt here, a real big butt. Y'all have to go follow me on uh, the socials, on uh, Instagram right here, follow me right here. And the reason is, is because I'm getting ready to show you a ton of geese and a ton of duck. Um, I just spotted a, what I believe is a Canada snow cross. It's got a Canada body and the entire neck and head is white. Now, reviewing the video on my phone, backtrack a minute I filmed it with my phone because I could zoom in real close and then I posted it on my Instagram that's why you need to go over there and check this out but I will throw it up right here what is that look at that stud muffin Canada snow cross that's my guess what do you think that is drop a comment down below is that a Canada snow cross or is it a speck snow cross? The more I look at the video, um, the more I'm thinking the beak might be a bit orangish. I don't know. It looks like that. I'm gonna go back. We're headed back right now. I left and I was like, why didn't I just pick up the camera and show everybody this? Um, so I'm not gonna be able to zoom in on that bird uh, because the, this lens just won't do that. Yes, my phone will zoom farther than my camera, uh, but I want to show you all of the birds here. There are thousands of birds on one little body of water. Check this out. This is, this is a sight to see right here. And this, mind you, mind you, this is in my city park. They do this every year in December. When it starts to freeze up, they all gather here and they keep it open. Check this out <laughs> oh my good lord oh my goodness look at this there there is an absolute ton of geese here they get out and walk around they're so used to people because again they're in the city park they're used to people it's crazy but look at this look at this group just bombing in here it's crazy Every single year this happens. Uh, I think it was two years ago, I brought the camera and we sat beside a tree and we got to, oh, there's that cross right there. Man, he's a pretty bird. I love seeing a hybrid like that. Now, about 10 foot away from him, there is a blue snow, a very nice old interface blue snow. Check these birds out. <laughs> oh got the baseball field in the background <laughs> I'm literally just standing out here 
and they do not care. Oh, I love this. I love this, man. I love that I get to just pick up the camera and come to the city park and find all these birds and then find a hybrid, share it with y'all. This is awesome. Whoa, look at this, look at this. Look at the other side of the pond here. Whoa. <laughs> Holy smokes. Wow. Go sit right back there. Literally just drive by. That's wild. That's a ton of birds on a little body of water, boys. What is your guess? How many birds are on that little pond? Oh, I love this. It's so cool. I love Kansas. I would never move. Ever. It's, it's beautiful. All right. I'll stop filming them. <laughs> um, but they get up anytime somebody even gets close to them. Um, you can't get that close to them even when they get comfortable and they start walking up into the grass close to the road and you just drive by, you spook them. So I don't want to spook them too much. We need to let them chill. It's extremely cold. People are showing up with bread to feed them. <laughs> These geese are literally getting fed bread and then flying to the field to get hunted. There's so many. Yes, these birds are flying, in fact, out of town. And people are hunting these birds. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that they know exactly what roost these birds are getting off of when they're hunting, but that is pretty funny. People wonder why they won't decoy good. Well, their bellies are full from all the bread people are feeding. <laughs> ah, there was literally two trucks that just pulled up. Uh, it looked like some children and their grandparents probably. And they had two big old loaves of bread. <laughs> Oh, it's just, I, I don't know. Maybe that's not funny to you, but that's pretty darn funny to me. Oh man, I was, I, <laughs> I honestly did not expect to do this video today. Um, I was just planning on <laughs> giving you guys a surprise at the end of this video, which you guys don't know what it is yet. I, okay, two things. When we get back home, I have to give you an update on the mouse situation, which is good news. I'm not gonna try to, I, I'm serious about Sorry, I got the burps and hiccups at the same time going on here. I'm serious about the uh, cancer situation and what uh, and what all came of it, you know what I mean? We will touch on that when we get back home and I have a huge surprise like I've, I think I've said three times now in this video, but I did not expect to see that today. Uh, if you guys like that, if you guys like the park videos, if you want me to film them birds more, maybe do some things, I don't know, can't do much, we can just film them. But uh, if you guys want to see more park birds, maybe what we'll do is I'll put on the big lens and we can come back and we can spot bands and we can spot hybrids like today. That'd be fun. These birds go to this small pond for one reason. It's centrally located. They know they're safe at the park. These birds know that. And when it gets cold, it starts freezing up. When it starts freezing up, they choose that little pond every single year and they keep it open. Thousands of them come to a, what is that, probably a little five acre maybe, two acre, three acre pond, and they just keep it open, you know, to survive. They don't wanna go sit on the river. They don't wanna go to a big sand pit. They just wanna huddle tight, keep warm, keep the water open and survive. <laughs> and they probably like the free bread, not gonna lie. Well, leaving the park again. It is two hours uh, later. Yeah, I've just been watching these birds. I had to go talk to my buddy Andy. Had to get some running around done, and I came back two hours later, and this. Look at all of them. There's a ton here now. I've been lingering around trying to spot our uh, hybrid buddy. I can't spot him. Don't know where he went. And I also stopped by... Uh, the building where we put the uh, pigeon traps and they are on their seasonal hours. They're a pool company, so their hours are way different. So we're gonna have to catch that at the right time. So all of you that have been asking for the pigeon trapping videos to come back, just be expecting it on another video. We'll get them up and rolling again here. We're just so busy with waterfowl season. You know, when it's here, it's here. It's time to get down. It's time to uh, get as much content out the door as we can make as many videos, good videos, 
while the birds are here, just like this one. I love these style of videos. I'm not out hunting, I'm not killing, I'm not doing any of that. It's basically just a little bit of research and scouting birds and finding some weird ones and the park and they're roosting here, you know? Just everything combined, thousands of these birds are roosting here in the city park. And this is what happens December through January. Everything starts freezing up, all the other little bodies of water around. So they come here, they know it's safe, they're never bothered, they're never shot at. The locals know that. So they tell the other ones, hey, just stay here, you know? However they communicate, they do, because I'm telling you, they love the park December through January. Now, the whole baiting title, I know, I know. I just thought it was funny because these birds, these birds are getting hunted out of the city limits. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, mind you, just know that these birds are in fact, they've already been hunted several times. So these birds are getting hunted, not every day by no means, but they're getting hunted out in the fields and they're coming back in the city and to the park and then getting fed bread. You know what I mean? Just that whole situation is pretty funny. And it's really intriguing to me that I figured that out and, and, and I actually, found the fly line of these birds where they're going out of town so it's some of the same birds I've already been hunting I was wondering where they were coming from and there they are they're roosting in the city but I've been hyping it up we got a huge surprise and we have to give you the info on the tongue here I got sidetracked you know me when Bobby sees a weird bird or birds in general geese that is he gone Okay, I want to bring up something right before we get into the last two parts of this video being my mouth and the surprise. Like I said, I put that video of that cross goose on my Instagram and it's been getting a ton and I mean a ton of comments. Now, there's a couple people already on there and I knew that they were going to say this. Bobby, go over there and shoot it with a pellet gun. That's a wall hanger. And my first response was, no, bud, that isn't legal. And then someone else commented on there, hey, bud, why don't you shoot geese legally? You know, some people out here want to go hunting legally. What I'm getting at, guys, know what you're doing before you do it. Read your laws if you don't know if it's legal. If you say, hey, I wonder if it's legal to uh, go shoot that goose with a 22 or a pellet gun, right? If you don't know, you need to look it up. And if you look it up and it doesn't specify that you can do it, that means it's illegal, y'all. If it doesn't say, yes, you can shoot geese with a pellet gun, which it does not say that, I can guarantee you, it is illegal. If it doesn't specify that you can do it, that means you cannot do it. There's a lot of uh, laws that we think that should be written down and that we should be able to Google and find out. There's a lot of these things that we're all coming up with ideas and it doesn't matter what part it is in waterfowl hunting, if you do not know it's legal, assume that it isn't until proven otherwise. Don't just go do stuff because you think it might be legal or oh, I'm not gonna get in trouble. No, 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 no. If it doesn't say you can, that means you cannot. Come on, outside, outside puppies. Let's go, let's go. Ready? Here you go, buddy. Oh, somebody's hungry. Now, first and foremost, the biopsy test results on my tongue. When I had it done, I always showed you guys, what was that, a month, month and a half ago? Basically, they took a whole punch out of my tongue. It was awful, horrible and it was related all due to, all tied back to chewing tobacco. I chewed for years and years, probably 15 years. Nah, probably 13 or 12 years to be honest. And all of you that were there for that video, uh, it, was, it was a scary time, very scary. I didn't know what to expect. When they took that meat off my tongue, it hurt. It swelled up and uh, the day after, y'all were with me on that goose hunt. Anyways, long story short, test results are in and it is not cancerous, thank goodness. Yeah, I know, right? Big applause. Uh, thank you guys for all of your prayers, for all of your, your just comments and your messages and your emails and everything, your DMs on Instagram. You guys, 
there was a ton, a huge outpouring from you guys because y'all knew how scared I was. I didn't know what was going to happen, you know? Now, the spot, they said, now, Bob, if anything changes, if it turns white again, you need to get right in here. It's a type of cell, it's a type of area, it's a type of problem that could turn bad at any time. So, so they just said keep a close eye on it, and if it changes, if anything about it changes, get your booty over there quick. Meaning get in the clinic and get in same day care as fast as I can. So, it's good news. Um, we're pretty much in the clear right now, but things could turn around. I'm crossing my fingers for the rest of my life and hoping that they do not go for the bad, the bad way, you know. I'm done chewing for the rest of my life. I promised my family, I promised myself, I promised you all that I would never chew again and I don't want it. I have no craving for it. Uh, the other day a buddy was chewing around me and I could smell it from like 20 yards away. I'm like, Ugh, you know what I mean? So guys. All you guys that reached out and said, Bobby, I appreciate you doing this video because you helped me stop chewing. That, that is so important to me. It means so much to me. Kudos to all you men out there, all you men or women, I guess, that stopped because of my video or is stopping because you have kids and, and you want to live as long as you can and live your life to the fullest. You know what I mean? Kudos to you for making that choice and playing it out and being strong having the courage and the strength to get through it and just stop. Oh, well, look at old Freddy Rico. Oh, you're a big pretty boy. Well, so now on to the secret surprise. It's a big surprise. It's uh, probably one of the biggest achievements of the channel, you know? Worked, a, worked my you-know-what off for this one, y'all. Check this out. I'm sure y'all can guess what I'm talking about. I have not showed anybody yet. Look at that. Look at that, Frederick. Look what we did. Look what you did. Isn't that awesome? Uh, this is my 100K subscriber silver plaque from YouTube. And uh, when I started YouTube, y'all, I, I never knew if I would get to this position. You know what I'm saying? That's um, when you're starting out and, and you're starting with 100 subscribers and, or just even 10 subscribers. You're starting from dirt, you know? Uh, you don't know the future, you know. All you can do is try. And that's what I really want to hit on at the end of the video here because of this. I want to describe this a little bit to you all. Now, my wife, she finally just uh, finished school, eight years of school that is, seven to eight, uh, with her nurse practitioner. So she is now a certified licensed nurse practitioner. Um, that was a lot of work for her to get that done and what it took it wasn't it wasn't uh, That we may or may not have more more money or availability or opportunity That was not it that that is not what I'm getting at with all this It is how much work are you willing to put into something to get back out of it what you want? So um, This right here prime example. I uh, I knew what it was gonna take after a little while probably after about 40 videos I think uh, I can recall my 40th video uploading. Um, I'm like, wow, whew. we've done this 40 times now, and uh, we're at this point. And it wasn't this point wasn't very far. You know, 40 videos I might have been at uh, ballpark guess maybe 3,000, 2,000 subs. I I really can't remember. But uh, guys, anything in this world that's hard to get or that we say, hey, that person's lucky. You know, Bobby, you're lucky. Or Beth, my wife, Beth, you're lucky for the job that you got. There is no luck behind this. There is no luck to achieving what you want. If you want something, it takes dedication and work. And to do those both things accurately every single day, you know, to achieve that goal, this is the primary ingredients, y'all, right here. This is what, this is why this happened. It's because I believed in myself. And I know that that sounds cliche, but at the end of the day, any of us can achieve anything. There is infinite potential for every one of us on this earth. It just takes yourself to believe in you. If you can believe in yourself day in, day out, through the trials, through the struggle, embrace the struggle, y'all. I'm telling you, you hear that, but it's true. 
You have to embrace the struggle while you're on the road, while you're working to get to your goal. Now, is this the end of my road? No, sir. It's just the beginning. I plan to keep going as hard and as fast and as good as I can with as much motivation and positivity inside me spilling out to you guys. Positive, guys. Stay positive out there. Fill the world with love. I know I sound, I know, I get it. I sound soft right now, but that is my belief. That is what I believe, is if you stay positive, you're positive to yourself, first and foremost, but you're positive to others. Don't just judge people, guys. I'm not gonna get into it. I can get all psychi psychiatrist on you. <laughs> but honestly, man, put positive vibes in your life every single day and believe in yourself. Learn to love yourself. Learn to nurture yourself. We get one life. Get out there. Chase it. Stop blending in. Start speaking out. That's what you have to do to achieve your goals. Don't, don't have any worries. Don't care about what other people think about you and what you're doing. Get out there. Achieve your goals. You got one opportunity. Do not wait until it's too long. Now, we all come from different places. We all come from better homes or not as good as neighborhoods and, and better schools and everything else. But I can tell you right now, I went to, I, I don't want to call it the worst, but the lowest end of elementary schools in our city. And that, that elementary school has been closed for probably over 20 years just because it was so ragged, you know? So I come from a trailer park. I came from a trailer park, y'all. Me and my daddy lived in a trailer park. I didn't come from anything special. Everybody has infinite potential. Love yourself, learn to love yourself, and you can achieve your dreams because you believe in yourself every day and you know that you're gonna go get it. Don't listen to the haters, take in the positive things, filter out the hate, don't pay attention to it because they're gonna talk if they want to. That's what I've had to learn. <sighs> Isn't it Freddy? That's what we've had to just learn. I'm done. I'm done ranting. I'm done raving. Uh, I'm proud. I'm happy. I'm thankful for all of you. Without y'all, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be doing this. But subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell down there so it will notify you when your boy uploads on your little mobile device. It will. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. But until next time.